I'm going to show you how to set up an easy onboarding form using Formstack for new customers. So once you are logged into Formstack Forms, you're going to head to the Forms tab and hit Create. We're going to choose a workflow and the workflow allows you to collect data from multiple people. So the idea here is that we're going to send a new member a questionnaire and they'll have the option to book an onboarding call. If they choose an onboarding call, there will be another section for, in this instance, a MakerPad team member to fill out call notes after the onboarding call has happened. So this is a useful tool if you are doing something like a employee evaluation form, or you have a workflow that needs approvals, or a patient intake form that needs notes from a nurse and doctor and so on. So select workflow and select next step. We're gonna name this new member onboarding, and we are going to start with a blank workflow. So the first thing we're going to do is edit this section. So we're going to hit on this little pencil tool here and we're going to delete this and I'm just going to add a logo. And to center this, I'm just going to align it and hit save. So now we're going to add our first field and I'm going to do a date and time field so I can know when this came in. If you don't want to uh, capture the time, if you click on the date time field, you can always select none for time format. So for this, I'm going to hide this and I'm going to do the current date and time so it captures the time that this was filled out. And then I'm gonna go back and I want to capture the first and last name, an email address, and then I'm going to ask the member's experience with no code. And then give it a few different options. So now I'm going to add three long answer fields. So my first one is going to be if someone selects I'm new. So this is going to be great. What are you hoping to accomplish with no code? And I'm going to set the logic here to only show this question if the experience with no code question is I'm new. So now I'm gonna go back, add another long answer. This one is going to be cool. What tools have you used? What are you hoping to build? And the logic here will be to only show this question if the experience is I'm familiar. And now we'll add another long answer. And the logic will be if the experience is I've built a few things. Now we're going to ask if the member would like to book an onboarding call.
we'll give two options, yes and no, and we'll remove this third one. And now we are going to add an embed code and we're gonna to head to Calendly. And we're going to click on share and then click on the add to website tab here and we are going to embed this. So click on this embed inline and click continue. And I'm going to hide event details in GDPR and copy this. And then heading back into form stack, I'm going to click on this embed code field type and I'm going to paste that code here. And the logic will be if the onboarding call question is yes. And if they say no, you can either add a description just saying no problem, or you could add another long answer. and make it a feedback type of question where you can ask why they wouldn't want to book an onboarding call. And the logic here will be if the onboarding question is no. So that's our member questionnaire. So now we're going to create a new section And we'll call this internal use. And we'll do a drop down list. We'll call this team member. And then we'll put the different options for people that would be doing onboarding calls. We'll ask if the onboarding call happened. Yes, no. And then we'll add a date field. This time we'll just capture the date and not the time. So we'll go to time format and select none. And we'll only show this if the onboarding call happened. And then we'll add a long answer field for notes. So now we have our form set up with conditional logic. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a workflow for this so that once a member fills this out, this part only goes to someone internal. Mm -hmm.